Hey guys, today we're going to install Nginx web server using Ansible. So I have a couple hosts over here. Um, I'm logged in on the right side here. Um, the host names are Splunk1 and Nginx1. That's because I'm going to probably reuse one to install Splunk later. Um, th this host here has uh, Nginx already installed on it and it's up and running. But this host up on the, the top here has, uh, I, I, sh I should rerun this. can see it does not have nginx running and it's not installed so we can go dpkg dash l grep dash a grep uh, nginx and we see no nginx there right so we can check on the bottom and we're going to see that we have Nginx packages installed. So Nginx is running and the packages are installed on this host on the bottom, but not on the host on the top. Now, we're gonna take a quick look at, let's first actually look at our Ansible hosts file. So in Ansible hosts, I've defined web servers. So there's a web servers group. And inside this group, we have uh, these two IP addresses, uh, 2.12 and 2.13. Now, 2.12 is this one on the top and 2.13 is this uh, host down on the bottom that I'm logged into. Now this this uh, terminal on the left side here is is what I'm running Ansible from. So, um, anyways, I have these two installed, and what this is, I have a playbook that's going to basically install Ansible on both of these, and it's going to show that it's already installed on one, but not yet installed on the other. So we'll we'll get to see how it behaves when something's already installed and when it's not installed yet. So that that should be like kind of a good demo. So um, let's take a quick look at our playbook itself. I call it Nginx setup. So let's take a quick look. All right, so this is the playbook name. Um, the hosts are gonna be web servers. So that's the group of hosts I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this playbook against. Remote users, user one, that's just what we log in as. We're gonna sudo to root. So we didn't specify a become user. So we're, we're gonna say become, that just implies you're gonna be root. Anyways, um, first task we're gonna do is basically, it, it's using apt and it's basically the same as saying apt get update and uh, yeah, it just says update cache, yes. Yeah. So it's gonna update the info for your apt cache. So all the info you have about the remote repo, it's gonna update it, give you all the latest info to make sure you're pulling down the latest stuff and you have, you know, you're just up to date. So after that, and that's gonna run on both of the hosts, but after that, the next uh, the, the, the next thing, next task that it's gonna do is it's gonna say install, so we named it install Nginx packages. So basically the package named Nginx and any prerequisites that it has, um, will be installed. So the, the name of the package is Nginx and the state is going to be latest. So that's going to make sure it's installed and installed to the latest version available in the repo. And um, so these are both using apt and now this next one is uh, the, this next task is using service and uh, it's going to check the service named Nginx and it's gonna make sure it's in a restarted state. So rather than just making sure it's either stopped or started, it's gonna make it's gonna bring it down and then bring it back up. So it's gonna be in a started state when it's done, but it's gonna bounce it whether it's running or not. And enabled, it's gonna make sure it's enabled so it will restart at boot. So when you restart the, the server, Nginx is gonna come up at boot when the OS boots. So that's what this playbook does. Now, um, yeah, check the link in the description. I'm gonna probably put a link. I'm gonna probably check this playbook into into GitHub and also um, I'm gonna probably have it on my webpage too, which I'll, I should have both of those in the description of this video. So just, just check the links in the description. Um, let's see here. Let's run this playbook. So what do we have here? Right here, we're gonna run Ansible playbook dash K and the dash uppercase K is gonna tell us that uh, it's, it's gonna prompt us for a password for sudo on both of these. So let's run it. It's gonna ask for our password. I'm gonna enter in my lab password there. Hit enter. And there we go. So gathered facts for both of the hosts. Now it's running apt get update on both of the hosts. And we see one of them, so both of them change, both of them shows changed because it's gonna run that no matter what. It, it, it just runs the command. It doesn't say, hey, do I need to run this command? It, it can't tell. Now, um, install Nginx packages. It says, okay, for 2.13, but we haven't seen anything for 2.12 because 2.12 is not gonna be changed or, or, or vice versa, let's see. So 
So th there we go. 212 changed, which is the, the host on the top here, and 213 it says OK. So 213 is the host on the bottom. That's the one that already has Nginx. So it already has it. It sees that the package is installed, so it doesn't need to do anything. It just says OK. It's in an OK state. And this one down here says changed because it had to actually install the package to work. Um, now start the service. Um, if it just had to be started and enabled, one of the, only one of these would show as changed and the other would be OK. But since I told it to make sure it's restarted, it actually had to perform an, act, an action on both of them. I wanted them both restarted, whether they're you know running or not. So it did that on both of the hosts. And play recap, it says what changed on each of them, um, you know what failed, and, and, and so on for each each host it ran against. Um, really, I should be using host names. I don't have these in DNS yet, so we're using IP addresses. You, you can use IPs or host names in your inventory. Either way works. But this is what we use. Now let's take a quick look over here. Now obviously this one you know, still has the packages and still has Nginx running. Now this guy over here, we can see it now has the packages installed and it has Nginx up and running. So both of these hosts now have Nginx up and running. So that's how we can install Nginx. Oh yeah, and I should mention this is on Ubuntu 20.04 and um, it should work similarly on any, on any Ubuntu and it'll be slightly different. You'll probably use like a yum uh, or, or, or whatever the current thing is for Red Hat systems these days. If you're, you know, so it'll be different depending on if you're using a different distro. But any case, um, let's test these out. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, let, let's bring up a browser. Um, do I have one running? All right, let's bring this up. Um, and let, let, let's look over here. So if we go to 192.168.3.12, brings you to the default Nginx page. It says, welcome to Nginx. This is if you haven't uploaded any web pages. It just brings you here. Um, so this is for 112. It's this first host here, the new one we just installed. Now let's check the one that was installed before. Um, we, we can change this to a one to a 213. And it brings us to basically the same thing. Yeah, so basically they both bring you to, uh, you can barely even tell that this is loading, but yeah, they're, they're different pages. Anyway, so basically we can verify that Nginx is up and running on each of those IP addresses. And that's basically it. So um, yeah, there, there we go. We, we can see I've been downloading Splunk. That's coming up for the next video. I'm gonna show you how to install Splunk in the next video. You might wanna stay tuned for that. There's a whole lot of different things I'm gonna show, show you how to do. Um, <laughs> across a bunch of different technologies. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. You might want to give us a thumbs up if you want. Um, but more importantly, leave a comment down below. If you know something I don't know, if you have any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. Um, and that's that's about it. So um, hopefully this, this video was useful for somebody. Hopefully this helps someone. Um, as always, Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.